Hello, beautiful people. It's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your pep talk. All right. So, whoever this resonates with, that's who it resonates with. Thank you. Let's get on up in there. I'll do all the other stuff in a minute, okay? Gotta get our gears grinding. Get grinding. What information do you have for these beautiful people who have joined us here today? Spend time on you. Balance yourself, okay? That has been an ongoing thing throughout this year, right? It's been an ongoing thing throughout this year, and it has more to do with um, grounding, okay? A lot more to do with grounding. Just really getting back to nature, getting back to um, a more simple life, more simple times, right? I don't know how that's looking. I don't, I don't think I care. Now then, it's too late. It's too late. What do you have for these beautiful people? You may have been in a space where you've been given so much and giving, um, having to work on a, like a number of projects at your job. You've been in a space where you've had to um, show up for other people, right? You are bright energy. Color uplifts you. This could do with um, candles. This could do with clothing, food. Um, and see, that's the thing as well. Really quick. That's the thing as well. Uh, eating colorful, having a colorful plate, right, um, has a lot to do with um, the psychology of if you're losing weight, if you are in a bad mood, right? If you're in a bad mood, why do you want to eat things that um, look like they really don't have anything to do they don't have any life they won't provide any life to you right i am not one to uh come in and suggest that you eat a certain way you know who you are you know your body you know what you need to do and when and how you are designed to do it what i am saying is if you bring more color in your diet it may help you a ton okay <clears throat> This may also have to do with uh, realigning your chakras as well. So if I were you, I would, because that one, it's a number 16. So that one, right, leading into that six, bringing that balance, and then it goes into a seven. Once you are balanced, you will be able to know um, what it is that you are designed to give and take, what it is that you, um, how you um, are moving about in the world. Is it effective? Is it healthy is it um providing the giving and receiving in life right because if you are out here just doing a lot of giving and not really taking time out to do your emotional to-do list if you're not taking time out to do your spiritual breaks it can cause major issues with you it's a very professional night today i am a secretary executive secretary <clears throat> for your father what information do you have for these beautiful people? Believing your power to manifest. Breathe your creation into existence. Hmm? Um, with this card, I feel this is a lot of green. This is a lot of yellow. A number, really quick. A number of you are um, tuning in. You may have felt a crossover here recently with tuning in to different portals, vortexes, whatever. Okay, you crossed over or you jumped timelines. It could even be there's something with quantum leaping, right? So there may have been a lot that has gone on um, for many of you that um, pertains to where you are and where it is that like maybe here that's what it is there may have been a space that you were in for quite some time that you couldn't get out of there may have been a space that you were in for quite some time that you just felt like you were stuck stagnant complacent you were unable to breathe through your process right there may have been a lot of anxiety a lot of um, overwhelming emotions there may have been a lot of um trying to talk it out with other people no one really getting it right so uh, you just may have been in a, a, a continuum right some type of cycle that just it just seemed like it just kept like how do i get out of this and all of a sudden it happened some kind of energy came through here and you hopped on the motherfucking energy okay a train came in and you hopped on that basically um but with this believing your power to manifest um if you may have been uh pulled back right 
hopefully y'all can hear this good because I've been having mic issues. But um, with this power to my manifest, um, breathing your creation into existence, this has a lot to do with your day-to-day -day, um, to-dos. Uh, what strategies you've come up with. Of course, we can go into the law of attraction and all of that, okay? But um, at the end of the day, all of it plays its part. There's all types of connected um, things that are connected to one another to make things happen for you, right? And regardless of anything else. So what I'm getting here is that it's a very important that you uh, make sure that you, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, you are affirming, you are in a space of knowing what it is that you want to um, experience in your reality, right? Um, really um, giving, with, with breathing, it, breathing it into, breathing life into what it is that you want. That's what it feels like too. Breathing life into it, affirming, um, actually walking and living and striving and already projecting forward, but living in the moment, right? Um, you can take two to five minutes a day to go over it and, and continue to fill it with love and intention and smell the things that you want to um, experience, hear the things that you want to experience, see the things that you want to experience, feel the, all the senses, all the senses right? Um, because I really feel like you are in a space where there you are um, able to uh, co-create with the universe in a way because things have changed so much, right? Um, a number of people have jumped timelines and things have really changed and they've changed in a way that is miraculous, bitch. Excuse me. But let's see here. What else do they have? Let's go ahead and pull these since they are, um, it's nighttime, the right time. What information do you have for these beautiful people, honey? Too many cards. We ain't gonna take all of them. Because we ain't doing all of it, honey. Now then, blinded to pain, right? I'm unsure of what the book says that means, but I'm about to tell you what I feel like it means, okay? Um, when it comes to what it is that you are doing to uplift yourself, what, are, what you're doing with the intent of being a better person, right? Doing the right things for the right reasons, living in a space that um, warrants for you to have peace and protecting your peace, right? With this blinded to pain, you may have gone through so much that it's like, no, I'm not going through that anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not entertaining that type of energy anymore. Whatever it is, right? You are no longer in a space where you can be affected by certain things. You are no longer in a space where um, you are giving your time, effort, and attention to certain things because you know what it is that you've gone by, right? Gone through, right? Now, the other way that I'm looking at this is that it could possibly be that um, you've been through so much that you've numbed yourself. Please don't do that. How can you get a solution out of being numb or trying to turn a cold eye, not a cold eye, a blind eye, trying to turn a blind eye to something that you really need to see, see it through, pay attention to it, no matter how much it hurts. You know, you have the right to feel your feelings. Your feelings are real to you in that space, right? Because what happens is once you heal from something and you and you go and you discuss it later, once you heal from something and you are on to bigger, better things, what happens is you move into a space where you remember that feeling, but you also don't remember the feeling where it you're feeling it. You are only able to re you only know enough or remember enough to relate to others who go through that. That's part of your testimony. That's part of what you testify. That's part of you being a wit bearing witness to what it is that happened, but it's not that you are still in that space because when you um, talk about certain things, right, and you haven't fully healed, that's why it's important not to talk about certain things until you fully healed. You can't teach certain things until you fully healed right? You may be able to give some type of some small antidotes, but you don't know until you know, and it's going to have more of a, you're not feeling bitter. You're not feeling vengeance. You're not feeling, um, um, thinking that, oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. You're not tasting blood or smelling blood, but overall you're in a space where you realize you recognize, right? And then we are the RDP click. So RDP is recognize, defeat, and then prevent. So once you get past a lot of your pain, you are realizing how to prevent it from happening again, right? That's part of the healing. That's part of the shadow work that comes up in order for us to um, be more effective with walking in our purpose on purpose. That's what they said. What information do you have for these beautiful people here tonight, honey? Hiding your true self. Look at these. Hmm? Hi, 
doubting your true self. Why are you doing that? Um, I just did a self-love, self-care for the uh, seller on Patreon. And um, it had a lot to do with being a rock star, right? You are a limitless being. Uh, being a rock star is, has a lot to do with you showing up in your true and authentic self, whatever that is in that moment, whatever it is that makes your heart sing, right? Camera baffles chat. Whatever it is that makes your heart sing, you are whole, separate, and unique, right? And that's most of what the card that I pulled for the self-care was talking about. Just people being in, being themselves and being okay with being themselves. Not trying to fit in with other people. Fit in with what you have going on, how you are, who you are, where you are. Okay? When you are, where you are. Okay? But um, with this being hiding uh, your true self independently you know that if you get grounded if you um stand firm on your beliefs and what it is you came here to do it's a number 14 so that one moves into a four causing change a new you emerges when you are who you are being your authentic self a new you emerges in a way that people may not be um may not accept but then you go there are other people if you have a, a circle of people that you're always around and you have to be a certain way to fit in with them or, or make them feel bad, feel happy and appease them and all of that. Okay, so what, the more that you grow, you're going to realize that, no, I need to be who I am. And I need to go around people who accept me for who I am. I need to be who I am. And I, it's very important that I don't, I shouldn't have to bend, um, bend, fold, or be broken in order to fit in with these people, right? And that has a lot to do with that blinded to pain. Someone, somewhere, someone out there somewhere is going through something to the extent of they can't even be creative. And we are creative beings. You have to create. We have to create, right? But someone out there somewhere is going through something in a sense of not being able to um, show up in the world in a way that express themselves in a way, right? That people around them may not be used to or may not be allowing, so let's clarify here quickly because I really feel like if you are in a, an abusive relationship, okay, <clears throat> and of course there are, let me scoot up. <laughs> if you are in an abusive uh, relationship, it's very important that you remember, okay, y'all can see it a little bit, whatever, I'm trying to make sure y'all can hear. Um, if you're in an abusive relationship, it's very important for you to try to seek help outside of your friend group. Because if you really had friends, they would already be um, doing some underground railroad shit for you. Period. Um, if you are in a space where you um, are not allowed to speak up or um, people are looking at you weird. See, here's the thing. People are going to look at you weird regardless. You know why? Because a lot of people have limited imaginations. A lot of people think that, you know, um, you should do things a certain way. Those are not your people. Now then, but if you're in an abusive relationship, it is very imp important for you to um, find a way out. Don't make excuses to continue to be abused. Don't make us, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm going to leave it alone. There's a lot of numbers um, and, and places that are helping you get out of abusive relationships, okay? But I really feel like somebody is in an abusive relationship. All right. What information do you have for these beautiful people, honey? The Six of Wands. Confidence restored. I feel as though your confidence will be restored when you manifest whatever this is. Maybe it's a getaway. Get away, bitch. But um, your confidence will be restored here. This is you taking on this Leo energy. Some of you do have such a big heart and you can't even show people your big heart because of something that happened in your childhood. Like why? You know, so many traumatic things happen in the childhood of empaths and intuitives, right? That cause them to... <clears throat> Um, hide their gifts that causes them to, um, you know, go down, go follow a pattern that the family is saying, this is how we are designed. So this is how you are designed, right? Weird. Now, they need to stop that. Clarify this blinded to pain. Nine of swords. Feeling guilty about something. Someone may be losing their mind. You may have a lot of flies around. Y'all know what that means, okay? There may be a lot of critters, 
okay? Um, but overall, with this Nine of Swords, this is like a, a back and forth with yourself. Um, this is like uh, being trapped in your mind to the point where you um, are, are making excuses again. I feel like somebody is making excuses, okay? Um, be mindful of any... Um, I did talk about this as well, about the energetic interference when it comes to the crown chakra. Make sure that you cover your head when it comes to um, being sure that you, all right, so um, a nail is very good to wash with, but you also, when you wash with a nail and if you wash with a nail on a regular basis, you want to make sure that you sweeten your body afterwards because even though you, when you cleanse things, um, when you cleanse like even that's just a, a regular routine type cleanse instead of like a really deep cleanse, getting deep up in there and pulling out some things and cutting cords and all that. But um, if you're cleansing on a regular and if you're cleansing with a nail, um, cleansing all of your, you know, your curtains, you want to cleanse your bedding, you want to cleanse your body, um, your floors, right? So cleansing with a nail is um, uh, very effective, but you also want to remember to sweeten up things. It's the same as when you sage. You sage and you get everything out and clear out the energy and the air or what have you. And then you um, light something sweet that has to do with what it is that you are affirming is in this space now and what is welcome in this space now. That's my quick spiel. I try to keep it as simple as possible because if I start going all up in there, then y'all going to be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Move forward. What is this hiding your true self? The Seven of Swords, lying to yourself or letting somebody lie to you. Now you're taking on the lie. Uh, the Seven of Swords has a lot to do with um, maybe you are around someone who is very selfish or someone who you um, they only think of themselves. They only um, want what they want. They um, don't show all of their hand, but they want to know all your hand. Right. So you want to be very mindful of that. Um, anytime someone wants to keep you away from your family, they want to keep you away from your um, anything that you love. Right. This is not the work of someone of a high vibration. This is not the work of someone that you can grow with. This is not the work of um, someone who is willing to have their some reciprocation. It's the work of the enemy. Government contractors. Now then. What is this spend time on you? Page of Swords. Um, taking time out to really um, learn something new. Take the time out to... Um, the Page of Swords can be a student, but maybe you are so focused on other people, right? Because the Page of Swords can be spying. So maybe you're so focused on other people that you're not even paying attention to yourself. Maybe your clients, you are in a space where you um, are trying to learn all these new things for your clients, but you're not taking time out to learn things about yourself and for yourself, right? That could be it. Uh, the Page of Swords could also be um, paying attention, pay because the way look at how it looks. Right. She's looking at the sword. So what is it that you are giving? What, are, what is it that you are paying attention to that is your has a grasp, a grip on your mind? Switch it up. OK. What is this? You are bright energy. Some of you walk in a room and just light up the whole place. And you may not even know that you may not even be paying attention. I need you to pay attention to how you're showing up in the world. What is this? You are bright energy. The Eight of Pentacles. Whatever it is that you've been uh, really focusing on and working on, but here we are. So the Eight of Pentacles can be your body. The Eight of Pentacles can be um, paperwork. The Eight of Pentacles can be what you've been eating, right? It's reflected out. But I feel like with this Eight of Pentacles, what's happening here is that there's a lot of work that you are doing. There's a lot that you have to offer. Maybe that's what it is. You've been very generous and people are taking notice to your generosity. Okay. But I also feel as though um, some of you are teachers. Some of you are um, maybe counselors. Some of you are, of course, readers. Okay. Of course. But um, overall, let's see here. What is this Eight of Pentacles? I really feel like you are focused. Um, whatever it is that you are focused on, it's going to bring a lot about in the world. Yeah, the Page of Cups. Someone is watching you here. Someone wants to make a love offer to you. Maybe someone that you work with and they're always helping you and trying to give you um, a hand um, at work. What else? I don't know what y'all got going on. 
but uh someone is amazed by you they like what it is that you have to offer and they want to make the workload for you a little lighter here so yeah what does this believe in your power to manifest honey the two of pentacles prioritize uh you may be going back and forth with yourself about what it is that you want to manifest you're going to stop that you need to focus on one thing plant the seed and then move forward however the other way that i'm saying this is that you could easily be um in a space where You've been, um, you, you, you recently manifested something and now you are working on something else and you're trying to see how they connect the things that you have manifested, you see, um, going back and forth with yourself, weighing the pros and cons of what it is that you want, 10 of Pentacles, what's going to bring the biggest reward. Uh, some of you may even be trying to sell a house or buy a house. I feel like that's going to work out for you. I also feel as though there's some type of balance that is coming through to the family. People are going to spend more time together or what have you. That has a lot to do with whatever it is that you are manifesting fasting uh, with this ten of pentacles i also feel as though there's ancestors all around i think that someone in your family is calling a gathering and with that gathering this is how all of you come together to manifest and it will help a whole lot what is this blinded by blinded to pain four of wands this is home life these two cards down here got to do with your house this has to do with who it is that you are teaming up with this has a lot to do with how you feel in your home some of you may even feel that um there may be some interference in your home or you are just tired right so you want to go ahead and cleanse or what have you look for surveillance cameras too check because i don't know what the fuck is going on in the world today people are really surveilling one another it's insane now then what is this hiding your true self you're going crazy someone is going crazy um over trying to keep up a happy life or keep up the the, the way that um a, a, a stable and secure home is Let me see, Jay. You got the nine of cups when it comes to getting your getting what it is that you want, making it happen. That nine of cups is also manifestation. But the nine of cups came out for the hiding your true self with that seven of swords, right? Dealing with maybe now if you're in a space where you're hoping that somebody gets it, you're hoping that someone accepts you, you're hoping and hope. I don't know if that's gonna be wish fulfillment because all you're gonna do is resent yourself because somebody can possibly love, like, or be into whatever it is that um, who you are for a moment, but if you are not internally okay with who you are it's gonna that's it's, it's it's gonna wear off honey what is this nine of cups tower that's an argument that's some type of dispute that is um someone Maybe pulling you out of your shell. You may be asked to do something that you're not not comfortable doing here, right? Let's go ahead and get into this and then I'm going to go. You may be um, asked to do something that is uncomfortable, but once you do, it's going to be some type of breakthrough for you. It's going to be putting you into a space. I wouldn't be surprised if I got... Let me see what card I'm going to get after this. With this Nine of Cups and this Tower... The way that you uh, come out of your shell, the way that you show up in the world is going to be new, different, and unique to you, okay? You can wear the same outfit as somebody and still be what? Unique to you. That's as simple as I can make it. But with this Nine of Cups and this Tower, someone is really like in a space of, um, you know, manifesting the truth in the situation, right? manifesting some type of truth in a situation coming to terms with some truth in a situation but overall the shit is coming tumbling down there's some type of breakthrough that is here what is this tower called a new beginning a new life a new part of your journey it's time for you to step into who you are fully if this is you blinded by pain i suggest that you go ahead and begin the work that needs to be done um you can get the 90 day journey to mindfulness but overall i really feel like get some counseling or some therapy or what have you from a reputable somebody who is into really helping people and not hurting people or looking over what the actual issue is right or the dis-ease 
you see um this is a crescent moon with this blinded to pain and a half moon with hide yourself with this half moon with this hiding your true self you are about to come full circle and and shine like the of the moon right and like i said in darkness you are the light you are the light in darkness. You bring a lot of light to situations. You bring a lot of light to a lot of people, whether they tell you or not. You bring a lot of awareness to those around you, whether you know it or not. And it's just your simple presence. I'm go fix this outfit. All right, I think my gears are grinding. I think this is a good uh, vocal range, okay? So we're going to see here. So let me know down in the comments if you are ready to be the light that shines in the dark for yourself and everybody around you. You must continue to do the work. The work never stops. The work doesn't even stop with you. But overall, as long as you are living, breathing, and thriving, the work is con it needs to continuously be done. Okay? Protect yourself. Protect your energy. Protect your peace. Um, protect your meat. 